What's up? Thanks for coming back. Uh, I was hoping to get outside today, but uh, it's it just got done raining. We have like, I don't know, we got, we got a couple inches of rain already. Um, so I got something new right here. I am going to do an unboxing of this. I was hoping to do an unboxing and a demo, but like I said, it's, it's everything is, everything's soaked right now. Um, I did already open it because I was excited, but this is still an unboxing. I didn't unbox it, I just unpaid it. And I gotta say, it looks pretty sweet, but um, what I got here is, let me, let me move the camera over here real quick. Look at this thing. That is, oh, you can't see the, it's an Earthwise, Great States, American Lawnmower Company, they're all the same thing, but it's an Earthwise seven blade. Yeah, look at that thing. There we go. That's much better, huh? Now you can actually see stuff. Um, so you may know that I already have a real mower. It's that um, Scott's from like the 60s. Um, and I'm restoring that thing, but I don't know when I'm going to get done with it. So um, I decided to just get this for now. So I, yes, I am going to keep both, and here's the reason why. This is a seven blade, so it's going to give you a better cut overall, but it's 16 inches. Um, and the Scots is a six blade, which is pretty unique. You don't see too many six blades anywhere. Uh, everything I see is either five, uh, four, five, or seven, and the sevens are the most expensive. This was a hundred bucks, by the way. All said and done, 126 bucks with taxes and everything on Amazon. Um, so if you are, you know, considering it, that's pretty damn good, I have to say, which I did say because I did buy it. Um, and actually, I wouldn't have bought it without my wife. I was scanning and searching and looking and probably talking her ear off about it. But she just went, just buy it, which she's never going to say again. Um, but uh, yeah, this thing is sweet. Okay, oh yeah, so what I was talking about was the Scots is a 20 inch and a six blade. So the difference between a six and a seven blade is gonna be pretty minuscule, especially in Mylon, which is all lumpy and bumpy and uneven and different grass types and all this kind of crap. Um, so the difference between a six and a seven blade is really, it's not gonna be noticeable. But the difference between cutting with a 16 inch and cutting with a 20 inch is definitely gonna be noticeable um, time-wise. Um, and also, I don't remember cutting heights for this, and maybe the Scots can go a little higher. Okay, well, read before use. Let's read this real quick. <clears throat> this is probably info everyone already knows, but inspect your mower each time before use for loose or missing parts. Uh, clear sticks, rocks, and other debris from your yard before mowing. Walk at a decent pace. The reel spins faster the faster you walk. Do not cut more than 30 of grass. Uh, more frequent mowing produces smaller clippings. Overlap your rows. Your mower may have difficulty cutting tall grass. Okay, well that's all pretty, um, I would say that's obvious stuff, but you know, maybe it's not, and I shouldn't just assume. Oh yeah, so this model, this is the 171516EW. Oh, here we go. This is two bits of information in one. For best performance, apply a light coating of oil or WD-40 to the blades after each use. And then, this thing will go from a half inch to two and a half inch. Simply by adjusting the roller assembly. Okay. So, yeah, technically speaking, um, this can go lower than the Scots, but the Scots can go higher. So if I did need to, um, you know, let's say, I, I don't know, I don't go on vacation, but let's say I did, um, and I didn't want to come back into a rotary, rotary mill in the grass, let's say it was at two, three inches. The Scots can go up to two and three quarters. This can only go to two and a half, but the Scots can also only go down to three quarters where this can go to a half. So, I mean, that's not really essential.
have to assume, and I'm not reading the instructions at this moment, so I have to assume it's going to be one of these guys, one of these things. Okay. So, uh, I don't even know how much time frame into this is. Not at all. Okay, well, let me get this handle on here real quick. Okay, there she is, all done. So, we got our, seems like this might be the height adjustment. Uh, this is what Ryan Orr was talking about in his video, saying that this is not as user friendly as I think the green works. Um, but we'll find out, because I really don't plan on adjusting the height very much, uh, which is another reason why I'm gonna get that Scott's up and running, because that height adjustment is um, just a, a, a knob at the top, so you just, twist and twist and twist and it'll adjust it. Um, so I'd like to keep this at a certain height um, and until I get my lawn level, it's probably gonna be an inch and a half probably at the lowest, which is kind of a bummer, but that's okay. Um, this fall I'm probably gonna do the leveling and stuff in the backyard, probably do a uh, sprinkler install too. We'll see, we'll see how, what the budget holds, but this is the mower. Um, oh yeah, there's the bed knife adjustment. Um, so yeah, I'll go through this stuff, but yeah, and I know that there's a bagger, a 16 inch bagger, um, but everything I found, I found one on American Lawnmower Company's website, but it said it was not intended for this model. Um, or I say bagger, but I mean grass catcher. Um, so if anybody knows about where to find a grass catcher, that'd be sweet. I don't really think I'm going to need it, but you know, I'd still like to get one, and I might just buy one to try it out anyway. But uh, finally, here is the completed Earthwise 7-blade 16-inch reel mower. There's still some adjusting to come with this, um, but so far it's pretty sweet. Anyway. Thank you for watching. Um, this was just a quick little short video. Hopefully in the editing it will be. Um, but I still appreciate you watching. Uh, let me know, you know, if you want to know anything about this or, you know, I did, hopefully I did a good enough walk around. Um, but if you want, you know, if you want any info that I can provide, um, shoot me a message. Shoot, give me a comment down this video. Shoot me a message on Instagram. I'm at Lazy Lawns. Um, yeah, so again, thanks for watching. If you like this video, like the video. If you love the video, subscribe and comment. Um, comment either way, like it either way, subscribe either way, you know, whatever.